back to another video guys today we're going to be doing a simple install and i want to give a huge huge shout out to san jose customs for sponsoring today's video san jose customs is the company that provided me with the risers for the uh 2020 lowrider s love those risers and i've gotten a lot of lot of lot of compliments out there and i know a lot of you guys have bought them and i've been hearing nothing but great news um, nothing but great feedback so thank you for you guys for supporting the companies that support the channel and thank you to San Jose Customs again so today we have a shift linkage and we have a shift pack now these pieces here are also gonna give the bike a good look it's gonna make it pop out from the others out there with the blue accents um, it's I already have some blue accents obviously on the tank and then we got some of the foot controls um, but I want to add a little few more things here and there so these being some of them and some more coming on the way as well now you might be asking yourself what is the reason why i'm changing this out number one yes for the looks because i want the blue accents but number two these are one of the things that will leave you stranded on the road these things are notorious well the stock ones they're uh, very notorious for snapping on you out there while you're shifting gears and um it's left people stranded on the side of the road so this is going to give us looks and it's going to give us a peace of mind that we're not going to get stranded anywhere out there all right so it's going to be pretty simple all you're going to do is you're going to want to loosen up these two nuts that are on both ends right here then take your three eighths and just start cranking them by the way guys if you want to support the channel i know you see the sweatshirt copy your merch link is going to be in uh down in the bottom bottom of the video and I'm also working on a new brand design. It's gonna be something totally different. It's not my logo, but it's something different that I kind of want to run along with. And I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna like it. Uh, so that design should be dropping out soon, maybe within the next few weeks. And I'm gonna have some t-shirts for sale. So good way for you guys to support the channel in case you don't want to subscribe, it's just copying some merch. Um, but yeah, if you want to go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell button. It's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And on this channel, we're constantly working on the Dyna and on my 2020 Lowrider S. So two little projects going on at the same time. You got to love it, baby. All right, so I loosen this up. You could just finish taking uh, a little nut off with your fingers like that. So that's out. Let me do this one in the back. This is so simple. Like I said, uh, I tell you guys all the time for anyone who's back here again, just watching my videos, I'm nowhere near a mechanic. I'm just okay with my hands. And um, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> stock one out um, the only thing that's holding this bolt right here is this rubber and as time goes by what happens is that these bolts tend to just you can see the movement there it's not the best type of movement but these bolts tend to just like snap off and that's what uh that's what leaves people stranded on the side of the road as you can see here these are much better built got that ball joint right here which allows it to maneuver and uh just move around much easier. Now one perfect way for you to figure out how long you need this to be, because you can unscrew them right here and have more slack, is just by putting this over the stock one, give it that perfect measurement. Once you go on the website though and you order for the bike that you want, it kind of comes like to that sizing, so you really don't have to move a few things around that much, but if you do have to, then that's how you do it. So we got a perfect measurement right there. That's pretty good. Take that out, stop when we're not gonna need no more. Now with this pretty much simple, all we're gonna do is put the bolt in through here, where it was, and um, start screwing in, simple as that. Don't forget you're gonna need a little Loctite in there, so I'm not gonna put it in all the way. I'm just gonna put them in place for now, and then um, add my Loctite when I'm ready to really start tightening everything up in there. I just love the looks and the character that such a little piece like this can give your bike just to make it stand out from the rest of the bunch out there. Give your bike your own special little touch. One thing you should also know about these is that they also do come in different anodized colors. So they, I know they do come in gold, red, black. Um, so check the website out. I'm gonna be linking down the uh, description and the website link to San Jose Customs um, down below in the description box. Everything is made in the US of A. 
And once again, guys, support the companies that support the channel. I always say that. We're just gonna put a little dab in of Lacte right there in the front one, and then the one in the back. Now you can start tightening that in there. Start real nice and slow with your fingers first. Then you're gonna need a little wrench to finish the rest of the job. So now that we've got the shift linkage installed right here, we're gonna go ahead and change out this nasty looking stock shift pack. Uh, it's gonna be pretty simple. All you're gonna do is just loosen this bolt out here from the front. It's gonna try to fight you a little. Um, I got mine in first gear right now. Alright, so as you can see, that was a nice little install video that anybody could do at home. It's gonna make your bike look better, it's gonna make your bike stand out, and it's gonna give you a little bit more functionality when you're out there on the road. Uh, once again, huge thank you to San Jose Customs for sponsoring today's video. And if you wanna go to the San Jose Customs website, you can save yourself some money by using my promo code. I'm gonna link it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.